hello everyone today we will talk about gan chart and the s curve so we will analyze this one tender sum and by using you know all the informations then i will i will draw gan chart and s curve so here i have uh, taken one uh, uh, table that contains the informations related to the tender sum analysis so here we can see that some items all right so we have eight items particularly and each item described okay for the first item we can see it is preliminaries and turn key elements and it will take 80 weeks to finish and artworks for artworks it will take 12 weeks and uh, for building works it will take eight 48 weeks external work will take 36 weeks so in here it mentioned the start date but it doesn't mention the finished date all right so uh, this project started on 1st january 2020 and finish uh, on 31st of august 2022 so we know the starting date but we don't know the finish date but it is easy to get the finish date so because in here already they mentioned the week so i have to convert weeks to month then i have to add from this starting to the finish all right then we have the amount so for the preliminaries and turn key elements we have 500k so total we have 36000000 rm this is in malaysian's ringgit in malaysian ringgit so let's start with calculations all right so from here we can see we have a questions that the question told us we have to calculate and draw the following items the first things the calculate overall total cost for all activities all right the first things we have to find out the total cost for all activities and calculate the cumulative progress ratio and then we have to draw a gantt chart as relationships between time and activities as related and then we have the like third questions it's ask us to draw s curve as a relation between the cumulative progress ratio and the duration of a project all right so we can start so from our table we we can see that you know like like we have some task right so we have a task particularly and uh, for each task it has you know direction so duration for the first task 80 weeks for the second task it will take 12 weeks third task it will take 40 80 eight weeks and all those informations i got from the table and also the starting date it, it also given for the finishing date it is not given but we can find out by calculating weeks to we have to convert to a uh, month all right so eight weeks so eight weeks if i divide it by four because one month equal four weeks so i will get 20 month so when i'm going to add 20 month with with this date it will be first one eight 2021 20, all right so in the same way i will i will get the uh, finishing date for each activity then we have the amount this amount already given uh, in the questions then we have to find out the cost all right in 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 percentage for each activities so for for getting the percentage uh, we have to what we have to do we for the task one to task eight we have to add all like the total cost so we have total cost this is the total cost all right so for getting the percentage for each cost we have to divide it so we have five zero 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 divided three six one two three four five then i will get zero point one three eight eight something if i multiply 100 i will get 13.89 percent in the same way i can find out each activities for for each activity then uh the easy things we have to do we have to do the cumulative progress we have to find out the cumulative pro progress so for the first one it will be 13.89 then i will just add i will get 19.45 then i add with 7 27.78 i will get 47.23 then i will add 11.11 11, then i will get 58.34 in, in the same way i will get 100 all right so once we finish like 
in here i want to mention one thing that you know from the table we will get some informations already so what informations we need to you know like input uh, that you see the we have the starting date line right um, but we don't know the finishing so and also here they already mentioned the week so what i'm going to do i just um, uh, you know convert this weeks to month and i will add and i will get the finishing date amount already given cost i already show you that how you can find out the cost in person tense for each activity and then cumulative progress will be easy you know uh, to uh, like easily we can we can find out all right so once our this table is ready now we will move to draw the gantt chart so here for the gantt chart we know this is the you know the the duration all right so this is the duration and then the activity all right so how we can get this is the duration because we know the total project will take 80 weeks 80 weeks man means that 20 month right so the first one it will take 80 80 weeks that's mean it will take you know 20 month all right so that's why i put 20 from z1 to 20 all right for the second one if you see you can see the 12 weeks so 12 weeks that's mean for 12 weeks so i have to convert into months so 12 divided by 4 i will get 3 months so starting date is first of uh, january so from here to here 3 month all right so in the same way i can draw the full uh, gantt chart diagram then i will go to the s curve so for for doing the s curve the first things in uh, we have to you know like draw so the, 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 this is the duration so in in weeks so total weeks is 80 so that's why i write 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 80 and here we have the activity we have first activity second activity third like we have total eight activities right and then this is the cumulative progress all right so what i did in here i just you know like uh, got the value from the table and i just i draw this uh, diagram so for the first activity it took 80 weeks so that's why i put 80 weeks all right for the second it take 12 weeks that's why i take 12 for the third it takes around okay for the third weeks it take 48 weeks third task it, it take 48 weeks all right so in the same way i will do the duration versus activity all right then what i'm going to do i have to put the community progress for each activity all right for the first activity our community progress was 13 point something so it will be our point here all right so for the second one it was 29 uh, 19 point something you can you can refer this table all right you can refer this table to get the community community progress and once you you know like uh, give the input for all the informations for all the activities then <clears throat> you will connect connect all those points and you will get the s curve sorry so i think that's all how to do the s curve how to draw the s curve how to uh, draw the gun chart using the those informations that's all thank you